the Green Hornet. hunts the biggest of all game, public enemies that even the G-men cannot reach, the Green Hornet. <laughs> with his faithful valet, Cato, Britt Reed, daring young publisher, matches wits with the underworld risking his life that criminals and racketeers within the law may feel its weight by the sting of the Green Hornet. Ride with Britt Reed as he races toward another thrilling adventure. The Green Hornet strikes again. Hurry, Cato. Here's where we help jail a gangster. Anything. For example, stood on a street corner looking at the traffic. Looking at it, but not seeing it. It was a busy corner, right in front of the Daily Sentinel. The man's hair was mussed, his collar open. He needed a shave. I saw it. I saw it. There was a meadow and a tree. The moon's out. The moon. Oh, yes, Mr. Reed. I just had lunch. I... Oh. I didn't see you. Either. It wasn't your fault, Miss Case. He bumped into you. Well, don't just stand there, mister. Move along. You see it? It's up there. That's the moon. What? The moon. That's the meadow tree. There were shadows. Shadows under the moon. There's the moon. Well, mister, it's broad daylight. It's dark. Just the moon. There's the meadow. There's the tree. Never drink so early in the day. It's very bad. Gosh, is he feeling it? Tree. Meadow. Moon. Just shadows in the moon. Come on, Miss Case. We've got to get back to work. If you're crossing that street, you better do it now, mister. The light's green. Moon. Meadow. Poor guy. That sounds almost like double talk. Moon on the meadow. He doesn't seem to know where he's going. Are we? Wait a moment. I want to see that he gets... Mr. Reed. Look. Scott is heading straight for him. Look out! Mr. Reed, are you all right? Snap out of it, fella. You almost got That's killed. Go. The moon on the mirror. The car went right through the light. Oh, I wish I'd gotten that number. Didn't get that car, lady. Come on, they're breaking here for you. Break it here. Come on, there's no point in standing right in the center of the street. Are you sure you're not hurt? No, he's perfectly okay. I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about you. Good grief when you ran right in front of that car. I... Why, you sound as if I were important. Well, you are. You're... Well, I mean, after all, you're my boss, and I... I like my job. What else could a girl mean? Remind me to take that up with you later. I will. But right now, this sleepwalker needs attention. That car, Mr. Yes, and of all the careless drivers going right through a light. Shadows under the tree. The, the moon. There's the moon. He's just had too much to drink, Mr. Reed. Let him wander. He'll get home. Yeah, I suppose we might as well. After all, what happens to him? Miss Case. What is it? This man hasn't been drinking. He's in a daze. Well, I thought they went together. No, I'm not kidding. Look at my hand. I thought that car didn't hit you. It didn't. It messed us both. Well, then how did you Look get Look at the that? back of this man's head. He was slugged. There's a small cut there. I never noticed. Neither did I. I must have touched it when I pulled him away from the path of that car. Are you all right? The meadow. The tree. Your name. What's your name? The moon. The moon. Shadows behind the tree. You hear that? He doesn't even know his name. Yeah. Call an ambulance, Miss Case. This man's going to the hospital. <laughs> Turn it off, Cato. Please yes, communicate with... That is man you and Miss Case take to hospital, Mr. Britt? Yes, early this afternoon. Apparently, he still has amnesia. Traumatic amnesia. Please, what is that? It's loss of memory due to a blow on the head. The man was robbed, too. His wallet was gone. No marks of identification. I see. Hold the victim, yes? Oh, forget about it, Cato. It isn't important. There's no way to tell, Mr. Britt. In my native Philippine, we have saying... Huh? It is easier to drown in little wave... Then big one. <laughs> Meaning what? Meaning, please, one must not dismiss something as not important 
For that same but thing... But that same thing may hit you when you're not looking, is that it? If you please, Mr. Britt. Nothing too small. Okay, okay. Well, I hope that poor chap gets back his memory. Yes, sir. Must have some relatives that... Hey, Haley! Cato, open up! Mr. Axford, yes? Hey, sounds excited. Open up, I... Oh, Reed, I'm glad you're home. You excited to remember your key, Axford? Reed, I ain't got time for nothing. Come on along. I got the car downstairs. Oh, I'm not going out. Oh, golly, yes, you are. It's a newspaper business. It's a scoop for the central. Oh, Axford, I'm... Mr. Axford, please, you go away. Mr. Britt, yes, Cato, sir. keep your nose out of this. Moran's downstairs, Sergeant Moran. He's waiting to take us to the scene of the crime. It was Hazelton. Hazelton? You mean that's the name of the man in the hospital? Super snakes, Reed, are you batty? Who cares about that guy? Hazelton. Hazelton, the head of the state police department. Captain Hazelton, did he catch someone? The other way around, Reed. Someone caught him with a bullet in the back. He's been murdered. <laughs> touch, Mr. Reed. It's just the way it was when we found it, including the body. Poor Hazelton. Most likely he never knew who shot him. There's a moon, but he got it from the back. What about these footprints, Sergeant? Uh, we made plastic ass of them, Mr. Reed. A uh, lot of good that's going to do. How do you know it is the same fellow who done the murder? Who else could it be? It ain't Hazelton. That's the wagon, Moran? Yeah, from the mob, Mr. Reed. He told you the Sentinel would get the story exclusive. Suffering snakes, there ain't no reporters but us. Was Captain Hazelden working on any special case that you know of, Sergeant? Well, we talked to the state police. They said they didn't know nothing, but they'd check his private belongings to make sure. Well, no certain standing here. Come on, Axford, we've got a story to turn in. Yeah, Reed. Yeah, I'll come along with you. I, uh, I don't like staying out here. Oh, with... fine cop you are. Well, I can't do nothing from now, can I? Save it. Here comes the wagon. Yeah, I'll tell you about the... Holy crow, who's that? Sergeant, that woman, she's standing beside Hazelton's body. Hey, hey, you stop! She's running. Stop her, I'm going into the bushes. You can't shoot. No, Moran, you can't Hey, see. hey, lady! There's a cloud over the moon. Oh, did anyone get a good look at her? She disappeared too fast. Uh, she's got to be around someplace. Ah, uh, save your strength, Sergeant. You're wasting time. Yeah, it sure looks that way, Mr. Reed. Oh, I can see this murder is going to be plenty tough. I wish we could hang around, Sergeant, but you know how it is. Yeah, we got a story for the Sentinel, and it's got to get there in time. If I get anything new, I'll call the newspaper. Oh, thanks. Besides the story, I'm getting up early tomorrow, so good night, Moran, and pleasant dreams. And be sure to let us know if you solve the case. <laughs> Publisher's office? No, Mr. Reed isn't in yet, but it shouldn't be long. Yes, call back, please. Hello, Casey. Is Reed in yet this morning? Not yet, Axford. Oh. You haven't got anything new, have you? You mean about Captain Hazelton's murder, Casey? Well, no. I was thinking of that poor fellow in the hospital. Oh, him. Golly, I can't be bothered with small stuff like that, Casey. I'm handed a murder assignment. Okay, big shot. So you turned in a scoop. Holy crow, I sure did. That wasn't another paper carried the murder yarn in the first edition like the Sentinel. Naturally, I ain't interested in some am... Amnesia. Am, uh, amnesia. Yeah, in some amnesia victim. All right, I'll ask you. Is there anything new on the Hazelton murder? Yep, there sure is. Moran Fold had given it to me for the afternoon edition. I was just telling Dunnigan about it. Well, you make it sound important. It is. That woman who screamed wasn't located? No, but it's better than that. Casey, the police got a letter. No. I got one myself this morning. It was a note from the Green Harness. I'm not interested in notes about... Who? Who did you say? Suffering snakes. Do I got to repeat myself? The Green Harness? The Green Harness. What's he got to do with that murder? Casey, that's what the police are asking themselves right this minute. The note told the cops they'd never learn who done it. But why should the Harness send a note unless he done it himself? If you ask me, he's trying to lull their suspicions. Are you crazy? By sending a letter? Sure. By claiming they'd never learn. To a smart fellow like me, all that means is that the harlot is getting worried they'll find him. Why, a child wouldn't be that dumb. Oh, is that so? It'd make the police try all the harder to find the murderer. You mean the harlot wants him to? Why, of course. Otherwise, he'd keep his mouth shut and stuff. Oh, I give up. You're just plain dumb. No, listen, you typewriter tootsie. I ain't going to... Hello, Axford. Morning, Mr. Reed. Oh, Reed, did you hear about the green hearted note? Oh, did yes, you... Axford. I just spoke to Gunnigan. That's all the news, isn't it? Golly, ain't it enough? I hope the police get busy. Apparently, the Hornet wants them to. You mean because he sent that note? Of course. Oh, yeah. That, that's just what I was... Uh, I was telling Casey here. That's my theory, too. Uh-huh. 
Have you been to the hospital, Mr. Reed? No, no, I haven't. Well, I just wondered. That poor fellow, he might... Publisher's office. Casey! Hey, Casey! Is the boss there? Hold it. Mr. Reed, it's Lowry, and he sounds like a page one yarn. What? Hello, hello, Lowry. Where are you? Boss, grab your hat and come running. I'm at the hospital. The hospital? Anything wrong? That's what I want to know. Either this guy with amnesia was leading a double life, or somebody's pulling a fast one. Well, I don't get it, Lowry. What do you mean by a double life? The guy's gone, boss. His wife called for him. His wife called for him? Well, that's fine. Sure, only there's another dame here. She claims she's his wife. How do you like that? Well, you stay there, Lowry. I'm coming right over. Mrs. Braley. If my husband had been in his right mind, he'd have known soon enough I'm Mrs. Braley. Who was that other woman? Oh, no, it's crazy. The whole thing's nuts. Why did they let her take him away? Well, she knew who he was. She had positive proof. What does that mean? Lady, I'm in the dark, too. My boss is coming over, and Sergeant Moran of the police force is in that room now, checking up. Just relax. Something may have happened to him. I'm so frightened. I... Sister, I want to talk to you. Are these your husband's shoes? Well, well yes. Shoes. For Pete's sake, Moran, what's that got to do with it? When he left, he wore slippers. Guess he's still hazy, huh? Well, what about it? But that ain't the point. I recognize these shoes. See? These are the shoes that made the prince in that meadow where Hazelton was murdered. Oh, no. Yes. Moran. Holy mackerel, you mean Braley? This guy with amnesia, he committed that murder? Yeah, and that ain't all. Lady, did you leave these cigarettes beside the hospital bed? Cigarettes? Why, no. Perhaps that other woman did. Oh, is that so? Smell these cigarettes, Lowry. They smell funny, Moran. They got a bitter almond smell. Yeah, bitter almonds. Cyanide, that's what it is, poison. These cigarettes are poison. Now, who's trying to poison that guy? Poison? Oh, no. No, I can't. Uh, lady, lady, stop that. You're hysterical. Moran, who is this woman? Oh, hello, Mr. Reed. Don't ask me nothing. My head's going around in circles already. Don't you recollect that scream? This woman could be the one uh, who's... You mean Mrs. Braley? Is Braley, the... huh? Well, all right, Mrs. Braley, out with it. You're the woman who stood over Hazelton's body last night, aren't you? <laughs> My husband said he was going for a walk. I went through the park to look for him. I was walking along and I saw... Please, where is my husband? What's happened to him? Boss, can we print this? What a mystery. Did Braley murder Hazelton and why? Who tried to poison Braley? Who's the other woman who spirited Braley away from here? Horses. What are you having to print it, Lowry? Get a phone, put it on page one. And Moran, your police department better find Braley before it's too late. Before some... Before... Before... Oh. Lowry. Lowry, you got some water. She's fainted. continue our story. The threads of murder and mystery became hopelessly tangled when Braley's wife went to the hospital and found her husband gone. Even while the Daily Sentinel was rolling off the presses and selling in the streets, Britt Reed's office at the Daily Sentinel was a beehive of speculation and activity. Miss Case, get that one out. Like this. Yes, sir. Hello. Hello? No, no, Gunnigan. Play it up the same way. Okay. It's the police department, Mr. Reed. Yes, slap that mystery angle big on page one. Use a streamer headline. You got anything from Axford? Okay. Act was working on the Green Hornet angle, Miss Casey. Hasn't got a thing. That was the police... Trace of Braley, yes. Oh, he's the key to the whole setup. They got him. Find him. Boss, hey, boss. Oh, what is it, Lowry? Give. I just left Mrs. Braley at the hospital. She's the real Mrs. Braley? Yeah, oh, Penny Casey. She even had the marriage license, which makes the other woman a pony. We guessed that before this. That isn't hot news. Boss, I was talking to one of the nurses. This Braley guy did some talking while he was being cared for. Yeah, Miss Casey, and I heard him. He kept saying, moon on the meadow, shadows under the tree. We know now that he must have been talking about Hazelton's murder. Sure, but he said more than that at the hospital. He mentioned names. Names? What names? Hold on. Here they are. Creevy. Saplin, Dykus, hey. Podowski, and Sharkson. How do you like them apples, boss? Gangster. Every one. The nurse said he kept repeating those names over and over. I told the police. They're checking on those crooks? Yeah, busy right now. 
Do you think Brayley might have been taken out of the hospital by one of them? It's beginning to look that way, Miss Case. That woman who poses as wife must have been a stooge. Well, that's a novel way to get a murderer out of a hospital. You've got to admit that. We don't know he did the murder. Oh, Casey, what else is there? Hey, to... wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. Huh? Remember those poison cigarettes? Perhaps Brayley didn't commit that murder. Perhaps he'd been a witness to the murder. That would explain why they'd want him out of that hospital. What grief. You mean they're trying to kill him? Yeah. And why not? If he's a witness to a murder, why not? I guess we'll never know till we find him, huh? Killer or what? Switch. Get the police. Give him that angle. They're checking now. Hello. Hello, get the police. Well, department. I'll talk to them. We need action, and I'm going to get it. Yes, Axford. Any news at the Sentinel? They ain't found Brady yet. Those gangsters have been questioned? They say they're as innocent as newborn babes, all of them. I tell you, Reed, it's the green hornet. It must be the hornet. Uh, never are... mind, Axford. Like I said never mind. I'm busy. Give your information to the city desk. I, uh, I have a date. Well, Cato, you've been gone a long time. I, I hold it fast, Mr. Blitz. Did Mr. Axford... No, oh, nothing. The police are up a tree. Oh. So it's up to the green hornet to solve this mystery. You checked up on Sharks and Dykus, Podowski, and the others? Oh, yes, Mr. Brick. Cato, one of those five is involved in some way. One of those five spirited Braley out of that hospital. Yes, sir. But perhaps one of five had already killed Mr. Brady. Oh, no, you forgot that after I got those names from Lowry, I sent them Green Hornet notes, saying they'd be wiser to keep him alive. I suggested to each that I had a scheme to use him to advantage. Yes, sir, that's true. You think that one who is involved will wait until you contact him? I'm gambling on those rats being greedy. If I've gambled right, Braley is still alive. If I've been wrong, well, let's not think of that. I understand. But which one of the five? That's the problem. Mr. Blit, I think it, uh, Prodoski. What? Yes, sir. If you please. You mentioned one time car that almost ran over this Braley. Oh, we couldn't locate it, Kato. We couldn't catch the license number. Car similar to one you described is owned by Prodoski. Kato. Yes, sir. It's a dark green with light green upper part. I think... Save it. That's plenty, Cato. Got the green horn of mask and the gas weapon. Yeah, in the car. Okay, open the sliding panel. We're going out in the black beauty. Britt Reed and his valet, Cato, step through a secret panel in the rear of the clothes press. Then along a narrow passage built within the wall itself. A passage that led directly to the adjoining building. Seen from the street, this building looked deserted, abandoned. No one could guess that it served as the hiding place for the sleek, super-powered Black Beauty, streamlined car of the Green Hornet. Here, mask and gun, Mr. Brady. I'll take that mask now, Kato. Yes, sir. I shall drive. No, I'll drive. Make sure that gas weapon is loaded. We're calling on Prodowski, and for Braley's sake, I hope we're on the right track. Close now, Mr. Bridge. Radowski. Round this corner. Okay, we'll use this alley. It is uh, next residence. <laughs> oh, there's a light in that room. Yes, sir. Who's that? You see him through the window? If you please. That is Protoski. Yeah, talking on the phone. You stay here, Cato. I'm going in. I want to talk to Sharkson, see? This is Podoski. Knife Podoski. Yeah. Okay. They're getting him, huh? Yeah, sure. For me, anything. Just stick around and listen while I... Hello, Sharkson. This is Knife. Wanted to ask you something, pal. Yeah, the cops was here, too. <laughs> Didn't learn nothing. Not a thing. Have I got Braley? He wants to know, have I got Braley? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Shaxon. About this, have I got Braley question. I ain't saying. You know me, pal, dumb like a fox. But listen, who's this green hornet? I want to know. I got a note from the lug, and he said... What? Huh? That's that? 
Trouble, boss? Shut up. Yeah. Yeah, shucks. Okay, thanks. Well, so that's it. The Honda sent the same kind of note to Sharks. Hmm? The same note. Just that, don't you get it? It's a fast one. The Hornet's pulling the fast one. He didn't know I'm the guy that's got Braley. He didn't what know... The... I know it now, Prodowski. The green Hornet. You fell for it. Braley's alive. Where is he? Dutch, get this guy. Don't move. Now, come on, Prodowski, spill it. You had one of your gun mouths put on an axe so you could get Braley out. Where is he? Who are you? What's under that mask you're wearing? I have a gun, Prodowski. I might use it the way you used a gun on Hazelton. Hazelton, shut up, Dutch. We don't know what you're talking about, pal. It was Braley put the finger on Hazelton. Yeah, sure. That's why we bumped him off. Braley is dead? You got it. That's right. Braley's a nut, see? He's crazy. He shoots Hazelton. So, just to make sure we don't get mixed up in it, we give Braley the business. You're a smooth talker, Prodowski. You know me. I can't afford to have the cops nosing too close to my business, so... So you shut Braley's mouth. Right. I don't believe it. Now, pal, I ain't lying One look at Dutch's face tells me it's a lie. You killed Hazelton, not Braley. Now you've got Braley someplace, and I want to know where. Arnett, you're jumping at the wrong conclusion. You're... Get him, Dutch. Hey, drop that gun! Miss me. Now, you, Prodowski, get away from that desk. Yeah? Well, first time... Take it! I shot you. You shot me. Well, to you, no good, Arnett. I... I pressed the button first... See, I, I pressed the button first. <laughs> a button? What's he talking about? What What happened? I hear a shot. That's all right, kid. The shot missed me. There they are. Mr. Brett, we get away fast. Police hear a shot. They come very soon. Wait. What, I said wait. Look here, kid. A button? What is that for, Mr. Brett? Rodowski pressed it before I gave him a shot of gas. That button must have been a signal to someone. A signal to kill Braley. What? And that's why we can't go. But the police... We can't go. we got to find out where Braley is. we got to find out before he dies. That's for you, Moran. Oh, don't go telling me my business, Axel. Hello? Police headquarters. Who heard a gunshot? Okay, have the cop on the beat check up. Can't be bothered with some dummy shooting off a pop gun, can I, Oxford? Sure not, Moran. Suffering snakes, the story the Sentinel wants is about Braley. Now, it looks it's to me David. that... Sergeant Moran, what's going on this time? Uh-huh. Yeah. You got a report from the cop patrol on the beat. What's that? What kind of a car? I want a squad. I'll be right down. Oxford of the Sentinel wants a scoop car. Holy cow, what's it about? There's a car in the alley behind Podowski's joint, and from the description, it's the car of the Green Hawk. But holy crow, why didn't you say so? Lead the way. I'm right beside you. Again, Cato, hit it? Perhaps Braley not here, Captain House, Mr. Blit. We've got to keep looking. We'll try the basement. It's very dangerous. Come on, we'll keep looking. Slug you on the noggin, but you got away. <laughs> I'm an easy, huh? <laughs> well, mister, you're gonna have a permanent uh, amnesia. The moon. Shadows under the tree. You, you've got a gun. <laughs> I've seen you before with a gun. 
It was that night. Oh, beginning to get yeah. your memory back, huh? It was that. Too bad it's too late. What the... For God's sake, just... Yes, I couldn't breathe, you... Meadow. Meadow, the tree. I saw it in the moonlight. Really? I saw that man with a gun. Really? He still doesn't yeah. remember. He'll recover. He'll recover when All he... All right, hold it now. I got you. What? You forgot. All you did was knock me out. Use your fist instead of your gun. Well, you and your pal are going to join Braley. See, you're going to... Hey, what's that? A police siren. Now, it... Good work, Mr. Blake. He looked other way only for one moment. You punch him hard. Same punch I used before. Now, come on, kid. we got to get out before the police get in. Police. Shadows under the moon. The meadow. I saw it. I saw Don't it. Don't worry, Braley. You're getting better. You wear a mask. Who are you? Don't worry about a thing. The police are coming. They'll find you. They can't miss. They'll clean up this murder as soon as they get you. The moon. They shot him. In the meadow. Under the tree, yeah. They shot him. Meadow, the tree, that siren, that must be the police, the police. And golly Reed, shoulders Casey sitting at that typewriter was Brady. And Podolsky's joint looked like a tornado had hit it. Only it was the Green Hornet. She didn't get the Hornet? No, no, Casey. But Podolsky and his mob are in jail. And as soon as them doctors clear up Braley's mind so he can talk... Oh, I've got it in this case. Hello, Reed speaking. Oh, Lowry. He did? Just a minute. Miss Case, call the switchboard and have a rewrite man hook in on this call. Laurie's at the hospital? Braley's recovered. He's battery. Named Prodowski as Hazelton's murder. Get that to rewrite. Yes, sir. Start telling your story, Laurie. We'll give it a headline that'll sell more papers than all the rest combined. We want pictures, personal interviews, the works. <laughs> 